I am Alok Goswami and now we are discussing one of the applications of the diode. Majorly, the diode is involved in many of the applications like half wave rectifiers, full wave rectifiers, filters, different RLC circuits. Now, here we just describe the diode application in field of clippers and clampers. This is the basic slide for the clippers. Here we find that the definition of the diode is diode has the ability to clip a portion of the input signal waveform without distorting the remaining part of the waveform. Now this is the basic circuit. Here we show that this is the diode and as per the input signal it is connected in the forward bias configuration and across that R is acts as a load resistance. Across the load resistance if is there any drop then we find that the output waveform is generated. For example, if the input signal is this, here we find that the complete cycle is divided from 0 to 2 pi. Means that from 0 to pi phase, it is positive in nature with a peak amplitude of V. While from pi to 2 pi, the output waveform is negative in phase with the amplitude minus of V. Minus of V doesn't mean minus. It just signifies the negative phase of the waveform. So this is one of the sinusoidal signal. It doesn't mean that only we considered a rectangular wave, a circle, or a square wave, a sinusoidal wave, or triangular wave. Wave might be of any nature. We have to just analyze. Now, how the working takes place? When we apply this waveform to this circuit, we find that for 0 to pi, this is positive in phase and the polarities are positive and negative here. And this VI is applied at the input terminal. Now the diodes is in forward bias direction. And we find that in the forward bias direction, it can conduct current through the load resistance RL and a loop is completed. Means that when any of the current is conducting via diode to load resistance R, that means there must be some finite drop across the output of the resistance which is in terms of V0. So here we assume ideally that diode is ideal in nature and there must not change in any of the peak voltage like V or minus V. These are the basic assumptions. So we find that for the positive half the waveform appears across the load resistance is this one. Here we find that from 0 to pi the waveform is same whatever is applied at the input terminal. While now for the negative half portion from pi to 2 pi, for this portion we find that the polarity of the input terminal is changed. Means that now negative is here and positive here. In that case, as per the specifications of the diode, we find that the diode is reverse bias in nature. And when the diode is reverse bias in nature, it is quite clear that it acts as an open circuit. So a huge breakdown or you can say the break in the conduction path is provided by the diode. And if there is no path is available for the current, so in this loop the current is not provided through the load resistance RL. And finally if current is not available across the load resistance R, then the drop across the R is zero. And similarly for pi to 2 pi waveform there is nothing except 0 from here pi to 2 pi. So this is the basic operation of the clipper. So we see that this is the complete input waveform. The one cycle is from 0 to 2 pi having positive phase from 0 to pi while negative phase is from pi to 2 pi. So for, for this waveform we find that only the positive portion is there but the negative portion is clipped off. That means the clipper are the circuit which used to cut a portion of the waveform without distorting the input signal. While we see that for the positive half case, the waveform is exactly the same. Similarly, if we replace the nature of the input waveform, for example, triangular waveform, here again the amplitude is V for the positive half phase and minus V for the negative half phase and we find that only the nature of the wave is changed but the principle of the circuit is remains same. Next slide please. Now 
वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दिस स्लाइड शो द वेरिएशन इन द क्रिपर सर्किट मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर वी अप्लाइड एट द इनपुट टर्मिनल इज द वी आर बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंसल्ट एनी अदर इंटरनल सोर्स इन द सर्किट देन वॉट हैपन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द इनपुट सिग्नल वी आई फ्रॉम जीरो टू हाफ साइकिल दिस इज ट्वेंटी वोल्ड एंड अगेन फ्रॉम हाफ साइकिल टू कंप्लीट साइकिल दिस इज नेगेटिव ऑफ ट्वेंटी वोल्ड एंड अ इंटरनल बैटरी इज अटैच इन द सिस्टम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वी विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव वोल्ट सो वेदर फर्स्ट टू एनालाइज द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द बैटरी वी हैव टू वेरीफाई इन टर्म्स ऑफ द टर्मिनल सो वी फाइंड दैट हियर दिस इज द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी एंड दिस इज द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी वाइल द डायोड एज पर इट्स स्पेसिफिकेशन द डायोड इज पॉजिटिव हियर पी टाइप एंड दिस इज एन टाइप एंड हियर वी सी दैट दिस पी टाइप इज अटैच विद पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी दैट मीन्स दिस बैटरी सपोर्ट द सिस्टम और सपोर्ट द डायोड फॉर द कंडक्शन while if the polarity of this battery is changed then it can oppose the conduction of the diode so in a meanwhile time we can say that this battery supports the conduction of the diode and whatever the diode wants to do for the flow of the current it can supports the network for example now input waveform is given from 0 to t by 2 or 0 to pi that means for this network diode is forward bias as per the terminals this is positive this is negative and battery also supports the system means that diode wants to conduct and battery also supports the conduction so there must be a certain current and it can make a loop from this end to this end and across the load resistance rl there must be a drop which is indicated by v not that drop is equal to the input waveform but only the reason behind the attachment of the battery in the circuit is that it can support the system or there must be a little change in the concept so that changes suppose the peak amplitude of the input waveform is 20 volt while the battery which supports the system of 5 volts that means the amplitude of these two things are add in nature now the waveform appears at the output terminal for v not which is from 0 to pi must have some increased amplitude which is this plus summation of this because battery supports the system and we find that vi plus 5 volt is equal to 25 volt and from here from 0 to 5 volt this is the initial position of the battery due to battery and from 5 volt to the top this is again 20 volt so this is from dc line or from zero baseline the waveform amplitude is 25 volts and we find that due to the increased amplitude of the waveform it can split out from the portion like from here to here the waveform is in the half cycle while if you lower down its level to the dc line we find that it can go across the region so this is one of the circuits now if we change the polarity that means we have to differentiate between the voltage of the diode and the voltage which is provided by the battery next slide now this is the general clippers which is shown here the input waveform is shown here vi the peak amplitude vm and the negative phase is minus vm and we find that the di direction of the diode is this one now if we apply positive and negative here we find that this configuration reverse biases the diode that means for the 0 to pi cycle diode is in reverse bias condition and it acts as a open circuit so for the negative for the positive half cycle there is no current in the circuit and hence the output is zero from 0 to pi